before maintenance and servicing, the operators must have read and understood the manual, paying special attention to the chapter safety precautions. Non-observance of the above endangers life. The separator works reliably, provided that it's operated and maintained in accordance with the operating instructions. Attention! Do not loosen any part of the separator before the bowl has come to a standstill. Use only genuine spare parts from Westphalia separator. Unscrew the union, non-return valve and double nipple together, right hand thread. Loosen the handle connection piece by turning the hook wrench clockwise and holding the socket wrench. Undo the handle connection piece with fitted gaskets. Undo the hose clip on the discharge line for heavy liquid. Then undo the hose clip on the solids discharge line. Unscrew the three hexagon nuts and remove the washers. Lift off the hood. Unscrew the centripetal pump chamber cover with the hook wrench. Remove the centripetal pump with fitted gasket. Dismantle the regulating ring. Take out the gasket. Arrest the bottom with the hook wrench and hexagon nut. To do this, place the hook wrench over a stud of the lower section of the frame and let it register in a groove of the bottom. Place the holder on the stand and screw the hexagon nut on firmly. Unscrew the threaded ring, left-hand thread. Unscrew the hexagon nuts. Remove the holder and the hook wrench. Place the three holders on the studs and twist them over the edge of the sliding piston. Firmly tighten the three hexagon nuts. Place the pulling device on the bowl shell and firmly tighten and bolt tight with the two threaded pins with wing nuts. Screw the points of the threaded pins into the holes in the bowl shell. Press the bowl shell and sliding piston out of the guide off the bottom with the aid of the hex head screw and hook wrench. Dismantle the complete pulling device. To do this, loosen the threaded pins again. Unscrew the three hexagon nuts and remove the three holders. Remove the bowl shell with fitted gaskets. Remove the sliding piston. Remove the separating disc. 
Then remove the disc stack. Force the bottom with fitted gaskets off the spindle with the aid of two hook wrenches and remove it. Apply the two hook wrenches only to the rim of the bottom. Clean the gasket grooves and holes in the spindle. Remove the grease from the belt running surfaces of the spindle, the flat belt and the flat belt pulley. Fit the two gaskets in the groove of the spindle. Then grease the gaskets. Position the discharge channel in the opening in the lower section of the frame so that the discharge connection is seated in the bore. Insert the gasket in the groove of the discharge channel. Fit the gaskets in the grooves of the bottom. Grease the gaskets as specified in the lubrication schedule. Place the bottom with fitted gaskets on the spindle. Pay attention to correct positioning. The zero marks on the bottom and spindle must be aligned. Place the discs alternately on top of each other. In other words, first an unmarked disc and then a disc with a punch mark. Then place the complete disc stack on the spindle. Pay attention to correct positioning. Place the separating disc on the disc stack. Replace only the damaged polyamid gasket. Drive the gasket out of the bowl shell groove with the aid of a pin punch. Attention! The groove of the bowl shell must not get damaged. Thoroughly clean the gasket groove in the bowl shell. To facilitate fitting the polyamid gasket, heat the bowl shell, the sliding piston and the polyamid gasket to around 50 degrees centigrade in a water bath for example. Wipe dry the gasket and insert it in the cleaned groove of the bowl shell with the narrow side facing the bowl shell. Place the sliding piston on the bowl shell and drive it downwards using light blows with a rubber mallet. Press the polyamid gasket evenly into the groove of the bowl shell with the aid of a vise with smooth copper jaws. Attention! The sealing surface of the sliding piston must not get damaged. By carrying out several measurements around the entire circumference of the bowl shell, check that the polyamid gasket is seated parallel in the groove. Grease and insert the gasket in the groove of the bowl shell. Place the sliding piston on the bowl shell. Fit the bowl shell together with the sliding piston. 
Arrest the bottom with the hook wrench, the holder and the hexagon nut. Screw in the threaded ring with gasket using the hook wrench, left hand thread. Attention, a loose threaded ring can endanger life. Grease and insert the gasket in the groove of the threaded ring. Mount the regulating ring selected from the set of regulating rings. Install the centripetal pump with fitted gasket. Grease threads and guide surfaces in accordance with the lubrication schedule. Bolt tight the centripetal pump chamber cover using the hook wrench, left-handed thread. Attention! A loose centripetal pump chamber cover can endanger life. Remove the hexagon nuts, the holder and the hook wrench. Mount the hood. Attention, do not damage the studs. The connection threads of the corrugated hoses point towards the rear. Screw tight the hood with three hexagon nuts and washers. Fit the handle connection piece with fitted and greased gaskets into the hood. Tighten the handle connection piece by turning the hook wrench counterclockwise and holding with the socket wrench. Insert the gasket in the groove of the double nipple of the water feed line. Grease the threads. Screw the unit into the handle connection piece, right hand thread. Firmly tighten the screwed connections of the water feed line. Firmly tighten the hose clips on the discharge line for heavy liquid and on the solids discharge line. Before restarting the separator, be sure to refer to the instructions in the chapter Before Startup in the Instruction Manual.